Welcome to the Target Center in Minneapolis. It's the Atlanta Hawks and the Indiana Pacers. Hi, I'm Marv Alvin, along with the czar, Mike Fratello. Let's listen in as the starting lineup is introduced. Get possession. Number seven, bringing it up court. Number 10, goes to the back down. Post shot is no good. Yes, and he's hit on the play, and he'll go to the line for one more. Number one. Number seven. Able to hit from the line. it down with power. The defensive pressure on that possession was not very impressive. They need to make it harder for the other team to score. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Pacers. Advances up court, sets it up. Good move by number 11. Number four backs him down. Number 11 rises from the perimeter. It is no good from downtown. Number seven saves the loose ball. Backing down. Number 14, picked up by number six. Number four, able to dish it off for the assist. He got rid of it just as the defender challenged and set his teammate up for the basket. The three's good from downtown. What a move by number seven. Number four at the rim. Missed the lay. Pulls in another rebound from down low. Comes up with two. Four. Tries to back him down, drops the hook shot. The assist by number 11. Loose ball, out of bounds. Backs him down. Number seven. A little room to move, hits the two. Defensive player perfectly. That was a very impressive defensive play by number five. Number six, play by interception. Beautiful play. He saw that pass all the way and stole it. One minute left in the first quarter. Shot. Terrific defensive stop down low by number seven. Another one, no good. The Hawks lead by five. Skip it, skip it. Number seven. Handling. Nicely done by number five. Great effort on the defensive end. He managed to disrupt the other team's offensive flow. Just over a half minute left in the quarter. Intercepted by number four. You can't make lazy passes with him around. He's too quick. 
He'll pick those kinds of passes off all night. Man, I've been wearing this guy all night. From the low block, hits the jumper. The setup by number six. Less than 24 now. The shot clock is turned off. 14 seconds until the end of the quarter. Backing down. The move by number 10. Nobody able to come up with that loose ball. Out of bounds on the loose ball. Number 11 from outside. The first quarter is in the books. The Pacers trail by nine. There's no need to panic. We still have a long ways to go. The pass played perfectly by number 11. Good anticipation that time. A heads-up play to deny the passing lane and come up with the steal. Backs him down, backing down. Number 10 covered by number 7. The Pacers made a nice pass down low and scored the basket. Backs him down. Number seven from down low, misses from close in. It's important not to give up anything easy near the basket. I agree, Zah, that was a very effective defensive effort by number four. Too much contact, could not adjust in time to make it fall. Number nine being played by number 11. It in. They've had a lot of success at the offensive end. Their opponent is not shooting nearly as well. Number 11 at the basket. That's his first two of the game. Number seven defended by number four. Number seven fires. Rebound number two by number four. Backing down. Number four from point blank range. He wanted the ball in the post and made a nice move to get the basket. Out of bounds, the loose ball last touched by the Pacers. on the shot clock. What up? What up? Oh, get it up. Hits for two. Four, up. Step up the intensity. Able to hit from downtown. Here's that play one more time. to get a shot off. He hits another. They're getting good looks on offense and scoring the basketball. The other team better be careful here. Number four, forced to adjust by number seven. Number 14, pulling up from the perimeter. This fires from downtown. Number six extended himself there to force him into the difficult shot. He elevates, can't hit the close one. There's enough of a difference here for them to go two for one. Number seven, bothered by number four. That's his first personal. No good.
Nice trip that time. You gotta watch his quick hands. The defensive pressure caused that turnover. Terrific man-to-man -man defense by number seven. Layup's good. A great steal by number seven. Count it for two. Picked off by number seven. Well at the half, the Pacers lead by one. him down from the paint misses from inside the defensive pressure continues that was a solid effort near the basket by number 11 number nine from close range beautiful shot he's able to take the contact make the adjustment and gets it to fall number nine didn't bite on that one Number four, out of the crowd. Number four is shooting under 40% from the floor. He commits his first. Number six, guarded by number 14. Backing down from inside, the hook drops. Brings it up court. Number five, forces the adjustment. Number 11, try to compensate for the contact, but could not get it to go. Backs him down. Number nine, being guarded closely, missed another. Advances up court, the spin. Backing down, number 10, picked up by number five. Gets his hands on another rebound. That's a 6-0 run for the Hawks. Let's go to the replay, Czar. Setting it up. Backs him down. Number six, up on the shooter. The Pacers trail by two. Number 14 gets the bucket with the defense right in his face. What a shot. It's all about defense. Number four, advances the ball. Number four, from the perimeter, he misses another three. Number seven, challenged the three and made it difficult for the offensive player to connect. Mark, that was an example of great perimeter defense. Number 10, from up close, hits the close one. The dish off by number four. Rises from the perimeter. He misses another from downtown. Backing down. Number 10. Closely guarded. Hits the hook shot. They got him the ball in the low post, and he was able to finish. Number 7. Played by number 4. Misses the mark on the hook. Oh, the gorgeous move by number 11. Backs him down. Number four. Covered by number seven. Atlanta is having a hard time slowing down the other team offensively. They need to get a defensive stop to avoid getting discouraged. Number four. Contested by number seven. The delivery by number nine. Great defense by number seven. That's his second personal. Loose ball, last That's touch by the Pacers.
Backing down. 15 seconds to go on the court. Comes up with two. The shot clock is off as they play this out. Number 11. Not a lot of space. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Five left on the clock. Launchers the prayer. They're in a position to win this game with one quarter left to play. They need a solid effort defensively to put this one away. Backs him down. Number five. Comes up with the ball. That turnover was a direct result of his outstanding defensive play. Lays it home. Number 10. He could have prevented that basket with a foul. He should have made him earn the two points from the line. Backing down. The Pacers lead by two. Number 14. Able to avoid the block to drain that shot. What a play. Number four. Recovers the loose ball. Hits the two. Number five was calling for the ball down low. Got the pass and made the shot. Good move by number seven. Misses the mark on the hook. He chases it down. Number four. Elevates and shoots. Shot clock's at five. Number 11, playing him tight, hits it with two seconds short. Number seven, bringing it up court. Out of bounds, the officials say it's last touched by the Hawks. Backs him down. A terrific interception by number seven. The Pacers are really struggling today with turnovers. The passer needs to make sure the intended receiver is open and ready to catch the ball. Number nine being played by number 11. Number four. Let's it go from the perimeter. It is no good from downtown. Number 10. Defended by number five. Puts in his first from downtown. The assist by number 10. Number seven. Up with the shot. Able to finish from inside. What a move by number seven. Hits for two. Number four made a nice move to score the bucket. He's dangerous when he gets the ball down low. Quick hands. Timed that spike perfectly and stripped him of the ball. Let's get another look at that play. Contest the shot. Can't hit from downtown. What we're seeing right now is a focused effort to grab every defensive rebound to limit the second chance scoring opportunities. Number 10 at the rim. Can't get it to go from in close. Number four. Let's it go. The two's no good. Number 10 with another defensive rebound. He's been very active so far. The Hawks, no more fouls to give. Good on the first. Out of bounds, last touch by the Pacers.
The Pacers need to avoid a late game collapse. They're in good shape with less than a minute to go. He gets it to fall. He makes them both. Another one, no good. They switch the shot clock off. The Pacers have continued to be active on the defensive boards and have limited the amount of second chance opportunities. Number seven, handling. We've got to be the Couldn't run. get it to fall. He got hit. Had to change it up, and it just would not go. Number 10, unguarded. He throws it down. Ball goes out of bounds, last touched by the Hawks. There's the final buzzer. The Pacers take this one with a nice effort on the offensive end. Here is tonight's player of the game. Here are the stats for tonight's game.